So before buying a dehumidifier, something to consider is sizing. That's a common question in most things that we use. We need to figure out how much do I need and uh, for what reason. In this case, obviously dehumidifiers are used to prevent things like powdery mildew and even pest infestations can be reduced by uh, having a dehumidifier. Just having the right climate is optimal for plant growth. But sizing a dehumidifier in a grow room is very simple. Um, for the most part, most people are growing in sealed environments that use our products, they use supplemental CO2 and uh, they need to know, hey, how much dehumidifier do I need? Uh, in simple terms, however much water that room gets is how much water you need to be uh, removing. In other words, if you put 100 gallons in every three days, you need to have equipment that can take 100 gallons out. Uh, don't forget there's eight pints per gallon, and dehumidifiers are rated in pints, not gallons. So it's water in, water out. The plant doesn't keep that much, so it's not really worth uh, considering that. When considering your air conditioner as a dehumidifier, uh, oftentimes the lights aren't on the whole time, and so uh, having that as part of your um, calculation will mean that you can only control the humidity when the lights are on and the air conditioner is running. So we definitely don't recommend that. And the third thing, um, sometimes if you find yourself in a pinch, you could use your air conditioner as a dehumidifier by way of uh, falsely uh, adding heat to the room. This uh, method is called the reheat method. It's from the HVAC industry. And in a short term uh, run, that's not a bad idea um, to keep your plants alive, but as a long term solution, it's very energy inefficient. Um, but at the end of the day, sizing a dehumidifier is about how much water that room receives on average per day, and that's about how much you need to take out.